Hello. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate for you how to start up your Matheson A29 series mass flow controller. Our first step is to plug in the AC to DC adapter into the power jack in the top of the device. You can see the display lights up. To further illuminate the display, just press directly on the Matheson logo here and that illuminates the display backlight. So now we have better, better visibility. The device comes preset for air service unless you uh, order it for another gas specifically. So to change the unit to another gas we simply need to press the button directly below where it says total and menu. So we'll press that twice. Now we're in the uh, select menu display. So we want to press basic configuration one time, which is the button directly below where it says basic configuration. Then what we need to do is press a button directly above where it says gas air. Now we're in the gas select menu. We want to select helium. Helium can be found in the standard menu, so we will scroll scroll down one position here. So we'll press the button directly above down. And the arrow is now pointing at standard. So we want to select that, the standard menu, gas menu. So we'll press the button directly below set one time. And then we can see a, a list of gases here. So what we need to do is press the down button scroll down to helium. Once the arrow was pointing at helium, you press the set button. Now the unit is set for helium service. If we needed to measure flow in a different unit, we can simply do that by again pressing the total slash menu button twice. Again, press a button directly below basic configuration to select basic configuration. And in this particular display, we want to press the button directly above where it says device units one time. In this menu, we uh, have many options, but the, we'll select mass flow and see what units are available for mass flow control. So we'll press select one time. You can see there's a whole host of uh, different units that you can measure in. So you would simply press the down button to scroll to the desired unit of measurement. For instance, if you wanted to operate the unit for standard cubic feet per hour, you would just simply press select, and then you would be measuring your flow. It would be helium uh, measuring flow in units of standard cubic feet per hour. So that's how that's done. But let's just scroll back up. to standard CCMs and we can just simply press cancel. We're going to scroll back to the main display so from this screen we'll press back once more. Press back actually at this point we can press main. Now we're back to the main display. Now what we would like to do is set the mass flow controller for 50 cc's per minute helium. In order to do that, we have to press the button directly above set point. Press it one time. Then we would we want to select the proper digit to set it for 50 cc's per minute. So we need to select the digit by pressing this far right button here. Just one place. At this point we just press the button above up to increase the uh, digit to the, the, uh, the desired value. At this point we just simply press the button below set and we're flowing 50 cc's per minute helium. Our set point is 50 and our actual flow is 50 cc's per minute helium. P 
you would like to totalize flow, all you do is press the button directly below total slash menu. Just press it one time, and we're in the totalizer screen. And you can see we're totalizing flow. We just simply press the reset button. That's how that can be operated. So at this point, let's just return to the main display. So I'll press main twice, the total menu button twice that is, and we're back to the main display showing that we're flowing at 50 cc's per minute. Now in order to stop flow, what we need to do is press the button directly above set point and press clear one time. It clears the display then press set. You've got to press set. If you don't do that, the unit will continue to operate at the uh, or att attempt to operate at the command set point. So we press set. And now we can see our set point is at zero and our actual flow is at zero, standard CCs per minute helium. To turn the unit off, you just simply unplug the AC AC to DC adapter from the top of the unit. And that's your basic startup operation.